till you have your strategy ready or a good idea of what you're going to do in Leagues 3. Then some idiot called Little Ratbags comes along with something new three days before release. Well, it isn't my fault you can blame Sir Slayer because he did a fantastic breakdown of all of the tasks that you can do and it was quite revealing. So if you can possibly forgive him after all of this, I recommend checking out the guide on his channel. Anyway, now that I have successfully shifted the blame, after watching his video, it became apparent that there's one skill that is going to be seriously OP, and I mean really, really OP in leagues, that can get you level 80, money, and access to 50 Sage Renown points in just a few hours. But that's just the start. If this doesn't convince you to start with a skill, it will at least be your backup if things go wrong in leagues, if you hit a bottleneck or if you run out of points. This skill will bail you right out of a hole. There are seven main issues we're going to face in Shattered Relics, and this skill avoids every single one. First one is can we afford unlocks with our Sage's Renown points? They're going to be key to any strategy that we want to do. Secondly, can we train that skill efficiently with so many other skills locked? Then, will a Fragment Drop completely change what skill I should do or how I train? Fourth is how do we get our next fragment to level 3 before we even start the skill? Then what do you do if you need to change something but you can't afford it? Another question is do you train a skill such as woodcutting when you may get a fragment further down the line that burns logs when you chop them? And lastly how are you going to make money? This skill is probably the best in all of those scenarios and that skill is thieving. But before I show you why... Here is the thieving run that you can do at the very start of leagues and the time it takes. It's recommended to use range for this but mage will work. First off, unlock the lodestone Academy and get yourself enough points to unlock hit points using the Sage's Renown guide I posted a few days ago. Next complete Hazel's Cult which has no requirements, gets you up to level 24 and takes 4 minutes. Then steal cakes and bank them until level 30 which will take you 6 minutes. Next, level up on cows or anything low level with your starter weapon. 10 minutes should get you around level 30, which is all that you need. If you need to buy any runes or arrows, simply pickpocket to get the GP and then go to a store. Next, if you want to, you can complete the Witch's House if you want more HP, but it isn't necessary. However, it will take you from about 22 HP up to 41 and only takes 8 minutes. After that, complete the Feud, which requires you to kill two level 70s, both can be safe spotted, but the first is fairly strong to magic and will despawn if you take too long. Completing that quest takes you to level 48 in 15 minutes and unlocks blackjacking. In just over one hour, that gives you access to pretty much the best way to train thieving. So what the Slayer pointed out was how many points each skill gives you access to. And when I looked into it, I also noticed how many of those tasks were blocked by requirements from other skills. Thieving had the highest amount of tasks available and there is literally only a couple that require other skills, meaning it gives the most points by far and you can do it with very few skills unlocked. After blackjacking is unlocked you can get up to level 71 in an hour, make 60,000 GP and be able to do 38 points worth of simple sages renowned tasks. In 2 hours you will get up to level 80, have made around 165,000 GP and have 50 points in thieving you can go and grab any time you want. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not getting up on Wednesday looking forward to doing leagues only to do 5 or 6 hours of blackjacking, but if you wanted to, it gets you up to level 91 and access to almost all the points in the skill, making you 650k too. The remaining tasks you can do for points will also get you up to or around the level 99 as well just by doing them. But that's only one small part of why this skill is so OP. It bypasses pretty much every issue we face in Shattered Relics. The skill is auto unlocked and the only unlock we need is hit points for this. Thieving is a standalone skill so technically you don't need anything else either. Then the most important factor about blackjacking is that a fragment is unlikely to make any other thieving method that much better. When you think about fragments that may be useful in thieving you could have lower chance of failing which would include blackjacking. More GP, which overall probably won't make that much of a difference to you and could also include blackjacking. Chance of stealing twice, which again includes blackjacking. Keep pocketing until you fail. Is just a quality of life fragment. 
and even a fragment that said extra pickpockets using the rogues then outfit will give XP would also include blackjacking. It would then just be a simple choice of deciding if you wanted to get it or not. Jagex or you may think of something that I haven't, but it appears to be fairly safe to not fall into the trap of wishing I hadn't trained that skill before getting X Fragment, which will undoubtedly happen to us all. And before I mentioned how do we get our next Fragment to level 3, this is actually going to be crucial when it comes to efficiency, because it's going to be bad practice to start a skill with a level 1 Fragment, but at the start we only have 2 Fragment slots. I think this is the point that really sells thieving to me, and that is, those fragments I mentioned before, apart from anything that gives double thieving XP, nothing else is going to make or break the XP. That means you should have at least one slot available, and possibly even two, to equip the best fragment you have for the next skill you want to train, and get it to level 3 before you even touch it. Which in turn means you can level a fragment in the next skill, for the one after that. That in my opinion will be the biggest advantage you can have in the whole of Leagues 3, to get ahead of the next skill with an OP fragment, of course you have to train a different skill first to get that fragment for a little while, since you can only get fragments for a certain skill by training in it, but then as soon as you can have one you can level them up with any skill. Next is what to do if you need to change skills, I can't see any reason why you would have to with this one, but again, with access to so many Sage's Renown points by doing this it means you can pretty much plot whatever path you want to choose. Next you will notice in the last league some incredibly powerful relics. Things like double resources when woodcutting, fishing and mining including XP. Then you had one that said any logs cut also give fire making XP and this was stacked with the double resources which was then stacked with a 16x multiplier giving you 30x XP in both fire making and woodcutting for cutting just one log. That also worked with fishing and cooking and mining and smelting. Then we have the whole inventories being processed at once, such as cutting logs, crafting, cooking, making potions and so on. These will be the fragments that we will kick ourselves if we don't get them and then get them up to level 2 or 3 first before training a skill and none of them apply to thieving. And of course this skill gives you money too for other skills or to simply buy food so you can keep thieving. This skill is not the most exciting, it's not the most fun, and in all honesty, after an hour of blackjacking I will be desperate to do something else, but for those going for dragon, I personally believe this may be the best, or at least the safest choice of skills to start with. Let me know your thoughts, I hope you've enjoyed all of the League's videos as much as I have making them. I'm now going to concentrate on playing Leagues, but if you still haven't had enough, check out We Skill Now, Krebus, Bubba Tube, Only Trails, Lux, The KD Nation, Foxhole, and Sashlayer, who have some amazing content and new information out on Leagues every single day. And speaking of those creators, we've all talked a good game, now it's time to see who can walk the walk. Let me know if any of you or any other content creators want to join in in the league to see who is victorious in Leagues 3. Just to be clear, this is absolutely a desperate attempt for me to play loads and loads of Leagues 3 and pass it off as content. But it may just work. So pass on the message if you have someone who you want to join in with and hopefully we can spice up Leagues a little bit.